I have I haven't been this depressed in uh, months. I feel completely emotionless, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know that my mom was fucking stage four. I mean, I don't fucking see her that much anymore. It's not like I constantly ask her about that shit, you know. I'm assuming she wants to keep it personal. She doesn't want everyone to continuously worry about her. I'm, I just want to let you guys know this is, uh, that's honestly just bullshit, dude. It's all just bullshit. <laughs> I've been really into self-help books lately. I find that I can relate to so much of what they're writing about. I'm looking at my phone because my controller, I have no batteries, bro. There is no stage five. You treated your parents like shit? <laughs> Were you there to see it? <laughs> I mean, none of this can make me feel good right now, dude. I feel so fucking emotionless. Everything that's in me is just stopping me from crying. Um, I can't fucking do that, though. I will be my best to be an animate character for you guys. The thing that I, I've never gotten at all, the thing that I've personally never gotten, is why they everyone treats me different now that I stream. It's like, I've been hard to hang out with for a while, I get that. But as soon as I start streaming and they see my candid life, they want no part of it. And all of a sudden, they, the thing that, that pisses me off is when they start to care. It's like, where was all this fucking care when we were hanging out? But now we don't hang out anymore and you see me on stream and it's like, Oh, dude, you need some help, man. You need some help, bro. I've, I, I mean, if, if I've been needing help, then why didn't you say that two years ago? I mean, I've been drinking like this for a long ass time. It's not like I'm progressively getting worse and worse. I mean, I'm pretty much at, uh, at the bottom of the barrel. I'm doing I'm doing terrible in your eyes. I'm doing just fine in my eyes. So if you're if you're asking how I'm doing, I know that I'm doing terrible in, in that sense. I digress. It, it's just funny to me. All of a sudden, it's affecting their lives more the less that I come around. Because now that they get to see me on candid camera by myself, they they're more scared and they're more and they're more. Uh, realistic to how I live so now I'm even more unbearable even though I don't act like this in front of people it's always been interesting to me I feel so fucking numb ladies and gentlemen I um I don't want to say anything that's going to get me banned, but I really don't want to feel this way, you know what I'm saying? If you have somebody that's being brash on your life because of their addictions, one of the worst things that you can do to them is be super brash about them to their face. Like, yeah, you need to stop, man. You're ruining all our fun times and this shit. Or you need to stop this and that. You know what, dude? You need rehab. Some stuff like that. <clears throat> to a lot of your, a lot of outsider views, you guys are like, "Oh yeah, you're just being smug," because you know you don't like people telling you that. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the best thing you can do towards somebody like me or a drug addict is uh, spend time with them, even if they don't want to. At least try to spend time with them. Kind of like a cat. And if, and if they eventually want to spend time with you, then actually ask them why they do this. Why do they... Uh... <coughs> Why do they do the things they do? And stop saying fucking 25 grand, Andy, dude. I didn't get 25 grand. There was 25 grand split between, like, seven or eight kids. I I thought I thought at first I got 20, 25 grand, too. So I was like, what the fuck? I did not. I'm not complaining. I thought that I was going to get a couple hundred bucks, dude. I digress. If you have, if you ever have somebody like going through some hard shit, dude. Um, I mean, who cares, dude? No one gives a shit, dude. I don't give a shit either. Dude. I don't give a shit either. No one will ever give a shit. apart very quickly. Hey, Stony Skullet. Stony Skullet. Politely, calm the fuck down. It's not a good day for me. I didn't know that my mom was stage fucking four. I didn't know that she was doing so bad. She has a raspy voice and she's telling me that she probably has till April. This is not a fucking good day for me just because I have fucking money now. Just because I have like three grand? I don't... How did... How did... <laughs> This is a terrible day for me, man. I don't want to know a timer. I don't want to know no timer, bro. Let Billy play at 12 string, baby. Hey, Stony Skullet. Stony Skullet. Politely, calm the fuck down. It's not a good day for me. I didn't know that my mom was stage fucking four. I didn't know that she was doing so bad. She has a raspy voice and she's telling me that she probably has till April. This is not a fucking good day for me just because I have fucking money now. Just because I have like three grand? I don't... How did... How did... <laughs> this is a terrible day for me, man. I don't want to know a timer. I don't want to know no timer, bro. Let Billy play the 12 string, baby. Cheers here, B-Rabbit. Cheers. I didn't know she was stage four. She's very skinny now. I don't want to talk about that on stream, dude. I don't like to be a woe is me type streamer. Exactly, Burrito Head. I don't want any money. I want her to fucking live. <laughs> She's... She's such a fucking sweetheart, there are like. Five people may be facing a hidden risk. It may be hard to see, 
because it's not I told her I told her to take my money and um it's about what's in your DNA and to like vacation with it like I, I don't need a, I don't need a couple fucking thousand dude I don't need that money man what am I gonna do with it man she she should take it and go vacation brother I know she's been getting more sick, but I told her specifically, if you don't want to tell me how bad it is, you don't have to tell me. Because she was so sick of all her kids nagging her and nagging her. Don't do this. You're too sick. Don't do this. You're too sick. I'm the only kid that's ever been, mom, do this if you want to do it. If you feel like you can do it, go to Wendover. Go, go gamble. You want to go to the store? Go to the store. Do whatever you want. But everyone... Is, hates me for that. They hate that I'm treating her like a real human. <clears throat> all my my uh, siblings hate me for that. And I don't regret that at all. They can go fuck themselves. They can go fuck themselves because I'm going to treat her like how she wants to be treated. I'm going to treat her how she wants to be treated till the fucking end, okay? I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're sick, don't move, don't move. I'm not gonna make her feel sick, dude. I want her to feel alive. I'm gonna consistently ask her if she wants to go on a vacation, if she wants to go gamble, if she wants to go do anything, dude. She's still here, she's still alive, she's mobile. I know she's getting sick, she can't stand up that long, but she's still fucking here. Don't make her feel sick, dude. Let her do what she wants. But that also led to her not telling me how, uh, I didn't know it was fucking stage four. That's why I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't. I'm not going to.